What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and why is anyone surprised when they get rug pulled by these shit coins? Look at a lot of you guys are aping into projects literally named Rug Pull Inu or something of this sort, and are like surprised Pikachu face when they fucking pull the liquidity and dip off with your money. One, the developers weren't docs. Red flag. Look at everyone makes the comparison. Oh, Bitcoin. Don't know. No one knows who they are. Oh, Shiba Inu. No one knows who. They They're the fucking exception, not the rule. Do not compare any project to Bitcoin or Shiba Inu. They are one of a kind. Everyone's trying to be Bitcoin, arguably, and but everyone is trying to be Shiba Inu, especially in our space. Stop being surprised when the fucking buy tax is twenty percent, the sell tax is twenty percent, the fucking devs are not doxed. And the token's called Rug Pool Inu or something crazy like that, right? People are so fucking shocked when they get wrecked on these projects. Look at, we know what this is about. These products are only good for getting in, hopefully making money, and getting the fuck out of there. And hopefully, you can get the fuck out of there. Now, there's so many resources out there that will help you, you know, ape better or smartly ape into these projects. There's a ton of resources out there, but no one wants to do the research. Guys, I don't know how many fucking times I log on to Dex Tools. I see some random ass honeypot that's obviously a honeypot. This motherfucker's yeeting like five ETH into it. I'm like, what are you doing? It's called fucking, say for example, like Elon Musk is popular. Someone will make a token called Elon Twitter Inu. Some asshole will ape five ETH into that. And like, it'll be like, obviously a honeypot and these people are like oh, i got scammed it's like yeah no fucking shit here's the thing with DeFi guys it's the wild wild west but the crazy thing is and i want to pivot to this point because it's very important the crazy thing is there are people that are docs who are obviously scamming you here's the thing as more and more regulation starts to happen right a lot of these people are going to go to jail but it's going to be hard to prosecute a lot of these people in my opinion why Businesses fail all the time, all the time. I don't know the statistic, st st statistic, but it's something like 10% of businesses, only 10% only of businesses succeed, right? And the rest fail. Okay, well, what do you say when a cryptocurrency project pops up on the scene, fully docs team, decent buy and sell tax, and they fucking suck? You invest your money into them and you're 90% down. What do you say? Well, what can you say? They could have promised you the world. They could have, right? They could have played on your emotions. They could have said, hey, we're going to fucking be the shit, right? We're going to be the shit. And you aped in a ton of money into it. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some people do it. You think it's crazy. Some people have aped hundreds of thousands of dollars, life savings into these fucking coins, right? How do you prove that they didn't just fail as a business? They tried their very best to make things happen. First of all, shout out to my American flag. They tried their very best to make it happen, but they just couldn't get it done. Well, you can't prove that, right? Because businesses fail all the time. So there goes your fucking money. And they're an LLC, so it's like, talk to my lawyer, bitch. Thanks for the cheese. Here's the thing about DeFi that's different from the regular world. A lot of these projects, are the developers are in early. You, you'll never know. They could be a top 10 wallet, you'll never know. Why? Because it's DeFi. And a lot of these projects, these top wallets, never buy the fucking dip. All they do is dump the project all the way through. They could be just regular investors like you and me, or they could be developers knowing that, hey, this is a shit coin, this shit's gonna tank, but I'm gonna milk this shit until the wheels fall off because people do that all the time. You guys have to understand, DeFi is too lucrative right now for people to get in and make money. It's just too goddamn lucrative for any fucking halfway crook, right, to just jump in and make money. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's absolutely insane. I mean, we heard about the Time Wonderland story, right? The fucking chief financial officer, the guy closest to the money, literally has a criminal record for scamming people and was involved in the biggest scam in Canadian exchange history. But no one knew that because it was DeFi, right? What do you think he's doing now? You think he fucking changed his stripes over fucking 10, 20 years of lifetime criminal activity? No, no one does that. He's making money, baby. It's lucrative. And look at where that project's at right now. Here's the thing. This is what you need to do. The onus is on you. Do fucking research. Figure it out. Stop aping thousands of dollars into a shit coin, not knowing what the fucking, how to do it. You can't ape $10,000 into a token that charges you 40% round trip for sales tax. Right away, that leaves you with fucking $6,000 off your $10,000. And that token has to pump. If the liquidity isn't locked, they could just dip at any time. 
What are they doing to add to the DeFi? Look, at, if you're looking to invest in a seriously into a project, some people are out there just get scammed. They really come into this space. They see a shit coin. They think it's going to better the DeFi space. You have to look at what is doing what it is right now and how is it going to better the DeFi space, right? You have to like be able to look past what the team is saying and really say, well, you know, another product's doing that and they're doing it better and they've always done it better. So this is probably not a good investment. So it's up to you to do the adequate research and you can't blame people. Look at influencers talk about whatever the fuck gets views. That's how YouTube works. Why the fuck would we do anything else? It makes no sense. We're YouTubers. We want to talk about things that get views because that gets, it's like when I shit on Saitama. Saitama could be good in the future. Right now it looks like a shit coin, but it could be good. I talk about it because people like it. So that's why I talk about it. That's what we do. That's what YouTube does. So I encourage you guys, take the power back. Stop blaming fucking influencers for getting rug pulled because it's not their fault. It's your fault, right? No one said, hey, fucking pull out your fuck, take a fucking loan out against your house and just fucking yeet. Go ahead and fucking take out a fucking personal loan and just yeet that in the fucking shit butt Inu coin. Like no one told you to do that. You decided to do that, right? So you have to take the power back. Get better. Learn how to read contracts a little. You don't have to be a fucking expert. Learn how to read contracts, the basics, right? Look at what the product is adding to the DeFi space. Look at different red flags. Is the team doxxed, like really doxxed? I'm not talking about I made a fucking LinkedIn with a picture I took yesterday and now I'm doxxed. I'm not talking about that. Can you see some sort of background about me? Do you know my full name? What did I do for a living before this? I'm talking about fully docs. I, I know people say, uh, Bitcoin, huh? I mean, we talk about that already, right? But Bitcoin, huh, you're not docs. Does Shiba Inu not? The, the, guys, they're the fucking exception. They're not the rule. That's not an excuse now. You need to fucking dox yourself. Honestly, unless I'm looking to make a quick buck, I'm not buying any project that doesn't have docs developers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're not doxed, I'm just pumping and dumping, right? I'm just getting in, making money and getting out. Sometimes there are some good projects out there, but it's about the entire picture, right? It's about the entire, a lot of people don't want to dox because people are fucking crazy in DeFi. But here's my argument. You're running a business. You want people to invest in your business. You need to show who you are so you can instill some investor confidence. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I wanted to make this video for you guys. Stop being surprised. Take the fucking power back. The onus is on you, right? The responsibility is on you to make sure you're aping into the correct projects. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.